And welcome to another exciting Black Issues in Higher Education video conference. I'm Maureen Bunyan, President of Bunyan Communications, and your moderator for today's show, The Revival of Black Literature. The Harlem Renaissance produced some of our most prolific writers. At that time, America was finally ready to hear some of our suppressed voices, including Zora Neale Hurston and Langston Hughes. They have been followed by the powerful, rebellious, sultry, and sweet poetry of Sonia Sanchez, Nikki Giovanni, and Maya Angelou. However, for every one of those writers, past and present, who were able to get their words in print, there are hundreds of stories still untold. During the next two hours, we'll celebrate some of our most accomplished writers and discuss some of the issues and challenges facing them and those who follow. Joining us here today in our Washington studio is a distinguished panel of literary experts, including founder and publisher of the Black Classic Press, W. Paul Coates, mm -hmm. best-selling <laughs> author, E. Lynn Harris, Sandra Kitt, author of the popular Black Romance novels, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. Dr. Eugenia Collier, essayist, and former chair of the Department of English and Language Arts at Morgan State University and author of Breeder and Other Stories. Welcome, Dr. Collier. Thank you. John Edgar Wideman, author and the first writer to win the Penn Faulkner Prize twice. Mm -hmm. And of course, Max Rodriguez, founder and publisher of the quarterly Black Review of Books. When literature, black literature flourished for us. Uh, but I always like to put it into context. It seems to me that when there is a cultural um, what I'm wondering about is, is the acceptance of the white structure, is that absolutely necessary? Is that what caused the Harlem Renaissance? Because I think we've missed, we've hinted at it, but we missed a very important dimension, and that is uh, the Harlem Renaissance was not about s choosing white audience or black audience. It was a, it was a period in which there was a tremendous uh, self-assertion those quotes because I remember we were uh, in Washington and uh, Sterling Brown who made his home for so long in Washington used to refer to the Harlem Renaissance when you said Harlem Renaissance he would say what Renaissance 